All right, we're rolling. Uh, next up on the list that I'm going to discuss is the Swedish movie Let the Right One In. Uh, it's amazing. It uh, it's actually based on a I don't know if the book is in Swedish or like what, but uh, it, the book is called Let the Right One In. I recently read the book, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and say the movie is a lot better. The book has a lot of good things, but it's too twisted no, in some parts. Like, it, I can understand it being dark or whatever, but it's just plain nasty. Like some of the stuff that's in that book. And it doesn't need to be. Um, it's, uh, the movie is about a young boy named Oscar who's uh, unpopular at school. He gets bullied like all the time. His parents are divorced. He lives with his mom in like this dinky little apartment, this big apartment complex snowing all the time. He has no friends. He's just generally miserable. He's like, and he's kind of a dork. He's basically like one of those uh, school shooting ready to happen, or waiting to happen kind of kids, where he just has all this pent up anger and no outlet for it, and he feels helpless, and you just know he's a ticking time bomb. Uh, he actually goes outside and like fantasizes about getting back at his tormentors to like take a knife and like stab it into a tree, imagining that he's like getting back at them and stuff. Which is, I guess, dark, but at least it's realistic. It's not like excessively dark. It sounds like, I think, probably something that a lot of boys go through if they're bullied. I know when I was bullied in high school, or not high school, but in middle school, I would think about getting back at them, although it wasn't necessarily physically. It was more of a verbal thing with me. But uh, he, he was more physically bullied in the movie. So he's dreaming about getting back at them physically. Anyway, the, this old man and this little girl move into the uh, apartment next door to his. And it's, they're very strange. Like, no one knows who they are. They don't introduce themselves to anybody. They put a paper over the windows so, like, no one can see in. And uh, this little girl, uh, the little girl, like, appears outside one day to him while he is on, uh, he's like outside, per like, fantasizing about attacking the bullies, and then, like, suddenly she's behind him, standing on top of the jungle gym. Basically, long story short, it's not really a spoiler, the movie doesn't really try to hide it at all, but she's a vampire. And, uh, where it goes from there is where it gets really interesting. Um, <laughs> she's, it's, it's just an amazing story, um, bottom line. And uh, there's so many levels to it. There was an American remake, but the American Let remake is a little bit too... Yeah, the American remake is called Let Me In. And it's a good movie. It's a very good movie. One of the better movies of last year, I think. But it's not as subtle as the Swedish version. Was it nominated for anything? Uh, it was nominated at, like, non-mainstream. Like, I think the Scream Awards, it, I think it won a lot there. Nothing for, like, the Oscars or anything? No, not at the Oscars. Although, to be honest, it should have been. It, it was better than some of the Oscar nominees in my King's Speech, do you think? Was it better than the King's Speech? I liked it better than the King's Speech. I don't know, I'd need to watch it again. Um, King's Speech was a very good movie, but I, it had no business winning Best Picture. Anyway, that's, a, that's another post for another time. Beyond all of that, it's just a beautiful movie. It's beautifully shot. Uh, it's, rather, it's not really scary scary. It's a little creepy in some parts. But it's not, it's, I would consider it a horror movie simply because it's about vampires and there are elements of horror. But I feel like the horror genre too often gets relegated to just slasher movies or thrillers. There's so much more to horror than just like things jumping out at you and freaking you out. I think horror actually has more to do with the, with what it evokes than rather, uh, in the tone. Rather than like, I don't know, it doesn't need to have monsters, or like, it doesn't need to necessarily be scary. Uh, well, actually, they probably should be scary, but that okay. Anyway, I, we can talk about that later. It's it's just a very very well made movie, uh, well incredibly well acted. It, it's the, mostly just the two kids uh, who I'd never seen before, but they both do a phenomenal job. Um, and the, if you don't like subtitles, then I'm sorry, but you should probably watch it with subtitles. I would prefer to watch it with subtitles because they, then you can actually hear the emotion of the actors, the original actors, which you, know, you don't usually get like celebrity actors or voice actors, like professional voice actors when they do the dubs. So a lot of times you'll have just like really, you know, not as good acting as originally. And I prefer to see it as close to the original as possible. But it's 
Again, I j definitely recommend it for whoever wants to watch it. It's just beautiful, beautiful story of a boy finding a friend, but it's, there's also sinister elements and stuff like that. It's awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching.